you guys it's your girl Christina and welcome back to a new video on my channel if this is your first time stopping by hello thank you for stopping by if you like this video make sure at the end of it give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber hey thank you for stopping by once again so as always, enough with the rambling because y'all know I can do a lot of that. So buckle in, get yourself something to drink, get yourself a snack, and let's just jump right into the video. You guys, so today's video is going to basically be me talking about my favorite self-care products. Now when I talk about self-care, I mean products for my hair, stuff I use in the shower, feminine products lotions razors just stuff like that basically everything i use for my self care um so yeah and i guess this could be like favorite beauty products as well but i'm gonna title it favorite self care products so let's just jump right into it so the very first item i guess we can talk about is a new favorite of mine it is by Neutrogena. It's the Body Clear Body Wash in Pink Grapefruit, and it clears body breakouts. This thing right here, you guys, I saw and heard about this off of Pinterest, actually. And I was like, oh, I want to try it because I do get body acne. I know that sounds nasty, but everyone gets it. I normally get it on my thighs more than anything, but some people can get it on their back, their shoulders, wherever. So I did pick this up from Walgreens, I think. Um, and by the way, everything I'm talking about will be listed in the description bar below. But yeah, so I've been using, as you see, I've used quite a lot of it already. And I really do like this. Um, this is the only body wash I'm using currently, and it works. Like, it cleared up my acne on my body so well. I love it. So, this is my fave. So, if you do have body acne or anything like that, try this, pick it up, and it will help you and save your life. So, this is my first favorite right here. I really do like that. My second favorite... For all my girls out there that watch my videos, y'all know what this is for. I don't have to get into too much detail. It's just Summer's Eve. I use that because, obviously, once again, females, we know what that's used for. I mainly only use that during my monthly cycle is really the only time I use it. It makes me feel a lot cleaner. So, you got that. And you can get this pretty much anywhere. You can get it from walmart walgreens cvs target pretty much anywhere family dollar and this is just the simply sensitive so yeah i'm not gonna get into too much about that because i know there's probably boys and guys that watch my videos and they don't want to know all about all that but yeah females y'all know what that's for it's a sensitive wash for us ladies next thing is my secret outlast clear gel deodorant this one is just about empty so this deodorant is my favorite this is the only deodorant that works for me i used to use the normal deodorant like the powder stick ones the white ones those don't do nothing for me i would sweat right through that like there's no tomorrow um i do sweat a lot and i found that the clear gel this is the only deodorant that actually works for me and i do like it so and this deodorant works fine for me. I haven't had no problems, and I've been using this deodorant for some years now. So, yeah, once again, you can get this anywhere. Walmart, Family Dollar, Walgreens, Target, CVS, any drugstore, even at grocery stores, how they have their little section. It's probably there, too. So, this is my all-time favorite deodorant right there. Next, I guess I'll get into... I should have done this in more of an order type of thing. But anyway, this is my all-time favorite body lotion, body butter type of thing. So that's what it is. So it is the Bath & Body Works Almond & Vanilla with Natural Almond Oil Whipped Body Butter. This I love. I use this every time I take a shower. So when you open it, it has a white 
protective seal and pop that off and i got some on this thing is so thick you see it like i literally can do this the whole video and nothing will um, fall out yeah so as you see this is the body butter it's very very thick a little goes a long way so you don't need to use a lot of it basically when i get out the shower i mix this that's what i don't have okay well i mix this with just baby oil that's another one of my self-care favorites any type of baby oil y'all know it's the clear bottle with the pink it says baby oil yeah so there's that but i normally take some of this and i use my knuckle because my nails are too long and i don't want to get them dirty so i go in take a knuckle size out put it on my palm and i pour and i get uh, some baby oil mix it together and I rub it all over my body. And it works. It actually works. I've seen a dramatic difference with, like, the softness of my skin since I started doing that. Um. So, yeah. This is my favorite lotion, body butter, whatever you guys want to call it. It is called a whipped body butter, but I call it a lotion. So, yeah. Got this from Bath & Body Works. I love and then to go with that, I got the matching Bath and Body Works almond and vanilla with natural almond oil clay body scrub. So these are the same thing, except for this is the lotion and this is the body scrub. Self-explanatory, right? Um, that's what it looks like. It's literally just like a white clay with exfoliating beads. I use this in the shower. I only use this on my legs because I want smooth legs and I don't shave my arms I stopped shaving my arms that's a whole nother story but yeah so I only use this on my legs and I just squirt I use way too much of this by the way I use like a quarter size amount what's a quarter size like that I use about that much you don't need really that good much. with the body butter and baby oil so that's my little concoction and i do exfoliate before i shave so that's what it looks like so my favorite body exfoliator and you don't need to get this one because this one was expensive i think this was like 15 dollars. you can get cheaper ones you can even make your own but at the time i bought it because i was like oh i wanted to try it so there's that next for shaving cream this is not my all-time favorite shaving cream, but I'm showing it because this I do kind of use this one a lot as well. But my favorite shaving cream, if I can find a picture of it, I might right stick here. here so you guys can see it right here. But it is the... Oh, what is it? It's the EOS shaving cream, I think. Oh, I will hate if that's the wrong brand. Anyway... But like I said, I'll put a picture of it. Glasses. What? So, that is my favorite shaving cream. It's like a soft bottle. It's pink. They got pink. They got a cream colored one. And I think they have another one. That is my all-time favorite shaving cream. I love that shaving cream so, so much. So, that's my all-time number one, like, go-to. It's just really expensive. But this one is, like, a close second. It's just the Skin to Me Skin Therapy moisturizing vitamin e shaving cream it's just typical shaving cream um it's for dry skin it says i didn't know that but yeah so this is just my shaving cream y'all know what shaving cream's for you put it on your body shave bada bing bada boom i do like it it smells good like i said this isn't my all-time favorite but this is kind of like my go-to you can get this anywhere as well pretty much all the same stores i said about the deodorant, the Summer's Eve, is the same stores that will most likely carry this. Um, Next, for razors. So, I have two razors. First, this is my all-time favorite. It's the Intuition Razor. Um, I don't have it. I know, it looks gross. Whatever, okay? I'm not about to clean it. This is what the actual razor in itself looks like. It's the Intuition one. These are my favorite because these ones... Like I said, if I can find a better picture of it with the razor in it, I'll put it here so you guys can actually see. But this razor works very well. So basically, it comes with the little cartridges with the razor, and you stick it in there, and it already has a barrier of, like, soap around it. So you don't need shaving cream. You don't need nothing. You basically get it wet, and you can just shave with it. 
this is my favorite thing I found because it saves me so much time. So instead of me having to get the shaving cream, this razor is very expensive though. That's the only thing I don't like about it. It's a very, very expensive razor that I don't feel like needs to be that expensive. So, once again, intuition razor. Like I said, I'll try to find a picture and stick it up here so you guys can see it. But this is my favorite. Now, I guess, so that was like skincare or body care type of stuff. So, this last little section is on my hair care products. So, yeah. So, my favorite thing first i guess i'll talk about is the wet brush if you're a female or a guy i'm pretty sure everyone knows about these wet brushes you can get them at sally's walmart anywhere that sells hair brushes i'm pretty sure you can get them mine's pink obviously so it's just a wet brush i like this well first off i heard about this from when i was in cosmetology school and they were talking about it I like this because normally whenever I would get out the shower to brush my hair, I would just use a standard brush like this. This is from Con Air. This is just a regular brush. I know mine's dirty. I like the pattern on it though. But normally when I would get out the shower and brush my hair, this is the type of brush I would use. And supposedly that's, this isn't the type of brush you're supposed to use. You're supposed to use like a wet brush because the bristles on this are like so much softer yes my hair brushes are dirty there's lint in them oh my god let it go um the bristles on this are a lot more softer i don't know if you'll be able to tell but you can tell they're like a lot more gentler looking than the ones on this brush where it's like a lot more rough so this has started to become my favorite brush i've had this brush for some years and i haven't had to buy a new one none of the bristles have broken off there's nothing wrong with it it's still in very good condition so i do like this so basically it's a wet brush once you get out the shower and your hair is wet you use this to brush it and it's a lot more gentle on your hair than using just a standard brush and size comparison this is a lot smaller so yeah i like my wet brush favorite thing to brush my hair with when i get out the shower so now for my favorite shampoo and conditioner for my hair care these I uh, okay so a couple months ago my hair was getting really really dry and i was starting to get like dry flakes on my scalp it wasn't dandruff so don't tell me it was it wasn't dandruff it was just i had a very dry scalp and i was trying to use all these different shampoos and conditioners and i found the suave professional deep moisture replenish shampoo and conditioner and that's what they look like and I found these and I was like, okay, let me give them a try because my scalp, literally, like, as soon as I would get out the shower, you guys, my scalp would be itchy because it was so dry. So I was like, okay, I need to find something. So I found these and I've used them basically ever since and they work wonders on my hair. I really, really like these. I do feel like they help put the moisture back in your hair now not everyone likes suave so i can get that not everyone can use suave on their hair i'm just saying if you do have like my type of hair it, it is curly so it's like kind of curly i have product in it from yesterday when i was at work because i didn't wash my hair so it does look a bit messy but if you kind of have curly hair basically and you have dry scalp and your hair is just really, really dry. I would say, re I would recommend these and say just give it a try and just see. Um, these have been the only shampoo and conditioner I've used for the past couple months. And I do like them. I even got my mom to buy them and try them. But, you know, like I said, Suave's not for everyone. And she says she really doesn't see too much of a difference. But, like I said, it's all your based on your hair and what you know works for your hair. This but these right here are my favorite shampoo and conditioner next is my hair oil so this is the renewing argan oil of morocco weightless healing dry oil this thing right here as you see there's like nothing left i like this i I just recently started using it a lot more than what I used to use it for. Before, I really only used to use this whenever I would straighten my hair. I would, like, spray this in it to make it shiny. But I don't use it for that anymore. And I'm going to tell you what I use it for. So after 
I wash my hair. I put shampoo in it. I sometimes wash my hair twice with shampoo. And then I'll put conditioner in my hair and wrap it up and with a clip. I'll just use like one of these cheap clips. And I would wrap my hair up in like a bun, clip it, and let the conditioner just sit in my hair. All of that. Then when I get out the shower and I towel dry my hair and everything, I would basically spray this on my ends the ends of my hair and then I would spray some in my hand mix it and like rub it on my scalp and through my hair and then I would brush my hair with my wet brush and this actually has really really helped I could I personally could see a di diff I personally could see a difference with my hair it does say it is a healing dry oil and it is supposed to help dry your hair fra faster I really do like this um, I really like this. It actually helps my hair dry a lot faster as well. Because as y'all see, I have like a lot of hair. So when I, before I started using this, it, it my hair would basically take forever to dry. And it would stay really, really wet. At, once I started using this in my hair, after I get out the shower, I had no problem. My hair would be dry a lot quicker so i really do like rec i really do recommend this you can get it pretty much anywhere like i said so there's that my hair ties i use like the hair tie around my wrist are the goody ouchless um hair elastics i like these ones because they're as it says ouchless so it doesn't have that metal clamp on it these i use these more now before i used these actual hair scrunchies like the regular scrunchies and i was like girl no so i bought these and i've been using these ever since these are really really good i'm pretty sure every female uses these so it's not like a new thing i found um it does say it's for medium hair i never pay attention to that like i got some that in neon colors that's for like thick hair and they're just so huge I don't pay attention. I just grab some. So these are the hair elastics I use. They last a pretty long time. I've been using this one for the past couple months and it's still good. You can get these from like Family Dollar or something. The last two products, you guys. So this is the Smooth and Shine Polishing Curled Up Curl Activating Mousse with Je Jehovah Oil. So... It is for wavy and curly hair. So this is the hair mousse I use. I don't use this no more. This bottle's like still very full. I don't use this anymore and I'll I'll show you what product I do use now. But I'm putting this in here because I still do use this. Um, I just don't use it as much. The reason why I don't use this is because it leaves my hair crunchy. And if girls, if you guys use this mousse, you know what I mean. When you put it in your hair and, like, actually, like, scrunch your hair to get the curls to be all pretty and kind of natural, it leaves your hair with, like, a crunchy type of feel, and I don't like that. But if I don't feel like using my other products or if I don't have that and run out of it, I will just use this. Um, but this I do not use nearly as much as I used to, so there's that one for my hair. Now, this right here is my Holy Grail hair product. I heard about this off of Pinterest, and I wanted to try it. I got this from Target. It is the Miss Jessie's Poppin' Curls No Crunch Original Jelly Soft Curls. This right here has changed the game for my hair. This works wonders. When it says no crunch and popping curls, it means this. It means it. It's just a clear product. I don't know if you can see it from... I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Probably not. But it is just a clear product. It does this. It works the same way as mousse. So you'll basically get your hair wet, pour some in, and then crunch your hair. It does the same thing. But this right here, you guys, I love this so much. Anytime I wear my hair down for work or whenever I just feel like wearing it down, this is what I use. I can't talk more good things about this. It's excellent for wash and goes for people who want popping curls without the crunch. Like I said, what mousse gives you. 
super soft curls just shiniest smoothest sexiest curls yet and it is it has like a whole little disclaimer thing right here as to how good it is which i really do like um it works really great on my hair they have a lot of different products for hair i seen oh what's her name what's her name what's her name zendaya she it was something she posted somewhere and she actually had this one it was the same brand but it was for multicultural curls and i'm like what i need that because if you guys didn't know i am biracial i'm puerto rican and lebanese <clears throat> excuse me so i was like i need to try that multicultural curls Unless I'm misunderstanding what multicultural means, I don't think I am. But I was like, I need to try that because that might actually help my curls a lot more than this. But this is still pretty full because I don't use it all that much because I don't wear my hair down. But and there's that. And it does tell you on the back the directions and how to use it. But yeah, this right here is like my holy grail hair product now. So, yeah, you guys, we made it to the end of the video. Um, that was all my favorite self-care products. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys used any or use any of these products or use them, leave your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think, if it worked for you, if it didn't work for you, if you have better ways on how you guys use them, leave them below. Um... If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, leave some comments down below if you want to try them, if you have tried them, if they work for you, if they didn't work for you. Also, comment down some video recommendations you guys want me to see because now I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a set uploading schedule. So it's going to be either two or three times a week I will be uploading. So you guys will be seeing my face a lot more. So leave video recommendations down below. If you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can join and be a part of the crazy world of me. And lastly, make sure you hit that post notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload so you can be the first to watch my videos so yeah you guys thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye